Hi everyone, this is Jet, and today we're going to be crafting with comics. So, as a comic book collector, and especially as someone who attends fun events like Free Comic Book Day, your collection starts to pile up after a while, so I wanted to come up with a craft that could showcase a few of the comics that you've already read. This is a really simple tutorial for sort of creating a wallpaper effect along one wall with a couple of comic books. Keep in mind that if you're going to be lining an entire room or even four walls of a room, you'll need a lot more of every material. You'll need more comics, more tape, whatever it is. So anyways, for this I'm just going to be lining one wall and I will be using a couple issues of It Girl. It's like a couple of the recent issues. And I'm also using just two other things. Just a simple roll of like scotch tape. And then also the stuff called scotch indoor mounting tape that comes in a little roll like that. Like I said, please buy extra tape if you're going to be doing a lot with this. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is to take our comic and find the very center of it. In the center you'll see the staples. Take a sharp edge, I used a box cutter, and sort of pry open the staples Pry open the feet of the staples so that you can pull it out the back of the comic. Now that you can separate the comics, it's time to cut them into individual strips. For this, I used a ruler, a box cutter, and a cutting mat, and just sliced them evenly down the middle. Keep in mind that if you're going to want each of your comic panels to be in order, you're going to want to cut these in order and sort them as you're going along so that you don't have to go back later and sort them yourself. Now all you need to do is lay your pages out in order of how you want to have them on your wall. Keep in mind that if you want every single page to show in order, you'll have to buy two comics so that you can get the back side of each page. Lay out your comic pages four at a time and line them up evenly. Keep in mind to have them upside down and reversed because we're taping them from the back side. Now take a small, maybe two inch strip of scotch tape and place a small strip between each page. Now get out your mounting tape and place a strip nearly as long as the four pages across the very top. Okay, now it's time to hang the comics. In case any of you are young and doing this without parental assistance, I must remind you that if you're going to stand on a chair, don't make it one of those rotating office chairs or you might fall on your face. Just had to warn you guys. Anyways, stand on something so you can reach the ceiling of your room and peel off the strip protecting the adhesive on the, on the mounting tape and then just flatten it onto the wall. Once you got it up there, you might want to take just one little one inch pieces of scotch tape and place them between all of the bottom corners. That's just to seal it down on the bottom. If you want an alternate technique to that, you could take long strips of colorful duct tape and create more of a frame effect on the bottom while also sealing the bottoms of the comic pages.
Inevitably, you're going to reach the corner of your room and not have quite enough room for the last comic page. So place the page on the corner of your room and find uh, where the corner is and make a little fold with your fingers so that you'll be able to cut the page smaller at that point. And then just take a little bit of the mounting tape for just that one little half a page and press it down. That's all you have to do to get an awesome comic book themed wall. Check it out. I think it looks really neat. So if you like this tutorial, please like and comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. And subscribe to my channel for more craft tutorials. Thank you for watching.